So you get this negative image right. of, of the dark is actually where the light is coming in. Got it. Okay. And the white is where there was no photo reaction mm -hmm. that happened. Okay. That's what a photographic. The photographic plates are 14 by 14 inches. That's one millimeter thick. These are incredibly thin for how big they are. They've got a photographic emulsion on them. Okay. A light sensitive silver halide crystal layer. Usually it's silver bromide and that's that's suspended in gelatin okay bromium is the halogen that they're using here and then the process is a photon comes in from your telescope and it liberates an electron in this silver bromide and that electron that liberation of the electron forms a latent image speck you've got this free silver atom okay that creates a silver atom cluster then during development that latent image speck catalyzes and the silver bromide that's 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 around there goes and turns into black metallic silver okay and then finally you have a washer a kind of fixer that removes any unexposed silver bromide this is like the old school you know where you like wash yes. the thingy yes. and then that removes any silver bromide and what you're left with is a permanent negative image. And that's why in the previous image, the dark spots are actually where the light is. Mm, right, okay? Right. Because right. that's where the silver is getting deposited. Well, yes. Okay? Yes. This is an example of one of the photographic plates. Um, it's a one degree by one degree patch of the plate that is targeting Pleiades, the seven sisters. Um, and the, the haziness that you see, that's actually not a defect. Those are actual clouds around those around. stars those mm. dust clouds around those stars that are, that are creating that it's a beautiful beautiful example of one of the photographic plates that was actually taken during that time the typical exposure was about 45 to 50 minutes 